Hello everybody and welcome to my 27th vlog. 27, that's nearly a month full of vlogs. I know that some of them have not been exactly the next day. It's because due to the fact that I work at night time, I don't get home until almost midnight and I still have to eat dinner and just, you know, rest for a few minutes before I can get started. Sometimes they're delayed by about a day or so, but for the most part, I am pretty good at doing daily videos. Um, <clears throat> yesterday was a very strange day. In terms of work, it was fine. It was a normal, average, stressful day where I felt like I was getting nothing done. The customers were being unusually pain in the ass that day in terms of, not in terms of customers actually pay for things, but in my store, for whatever, for whatever God knows, whatever godly reason why, they decided to volunteer our store to be like sort of like a recycling center. So we get all these fucking yahoos coming in, right, with their bags of fucking gross ass, disgusting ass cans and bottles brought to us. They meant to pay these fucking assholes money, you know? Granted, right, they're only allowed 50 bottles per, per time per day, technically speaking, right? And they only get $2.50 each, but that adds up. You times $2.50 by like 20 people, 250 bucks right there, you know? What is it, 250 bucks? Well, 50 bucks right there, whatever. Whatever it is. It adds up. And these fucking yahoos are married usually, and these yahoos come more than once a day because I'm pretty sure they do. Because I work day shift, and I work night shift, and I've seen these same assholes coming in and out. Not only that, though, right? If we're full, we cannot take any more. And when, when they do, they get angry. And they contact this fucking heavy set, loud ass ABC who comes in and yells at everybody about why don't we take recycles? So there's kind of like a little click going on in that neighborhood, right? But what can I do? I do not speak Cantonese. I do not, I do not know what they say. And I'm not allowed to refuse them unless, unless the fucking bin is full. And I pray to God today the bin is fucking full. Because yesterday we took a ton of bags. And I love to say no to these assholes. Anyways. It's a different rant for a different day. Um, but like I said, it's a typical day. It was uh, how to get a lot of stuff up on the shelf. Once again, I feel like there wasn't enough time. You know, I had to take care of the photo department too, which was kind of can be kind of tough. can be kind of tricky too because you have to balance out. It's like working copy and print and doing the regular stuff too at the same time. It sucks. Because you can't really concentrate on copy and print. You can't really concentrate on, on the regular stuff. But somehow, we made it work, I guess. But what I want to talk about is the night journey home after work. Got off work around 10.40, said goodbye to the two ladies I work with, you know. And I waited for the bus, got on the bus, everything was fine so far. We just sitting there listening to the podcast, Joe Rogan Experience with Joey Diaz. And around, I think around 30th Avenue, the bus stops. And the driver comes back down and starts yelling at me, hey man, why you keep pulling, pulling the cord when you're not getting off? I said, what are you talking about? I didn't pull any cord, right? He goes, well, yes, you are. You're being an asshole. He keep on saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't pull any goddamn fucking cord. Why would I pull a cord for if I if you know, if I don't get off you know, until the fourth till station? I did not even pull cord this goddamn fucking L bus. You know? And he goes, yeah, right. Said, yeah, dude, why would I pull it for? I take this bus almost every night. I live, I live, I don't even live in this area. I have to take, I have to go to stupid fourth till station, take the goddamn 44. I told him there's something wrong with this goddamn car and leave me alone. And then he's like, oh, you whatever, right? Fucking this stupid ass Indian driver. And then he got back on there. And then when I noticed, the light turned on for the pull cord every time. And that asshole didn't even come back and apologize, man. Fucking yelling at me and shit. I pay his goddamn salary every fucking month. You know? That was that part. And on the same bus, about two or three stops later, this fucking drunk gay guy came on the bus and started talking to me and asking me questions about myself. I told him, dude, leave me alone, man. I'm done with been a, been a strange night already. Please. You know, please. And he talked about how he's drunk and, you know, how... Uh, how, you know, he wants someone to talk to, whatever. I said, no, 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 you got, you got the wrong fucking guy here, man. I'm not in the mood. Even, even, even if I was in the mood, I don't really want to talk to fucking drunk people. You know, I don't care if you're straight or gay. Talking to drunk people sucks. You ask them questions, they ask you questions. It just becomes a mess. Even if it was a fucking chick. I do not like talking to people that are drunk. Boys or girls. And so I told him, hey, man, I'm just going to listen to my stuff. I hope you have a good day. Be careful getting home, that kind of stuff, right? And he said, thanks, man. And he started smoking a cigarette on the fucking L train, which was fucking great. That part I liked, though, man. I don't mind when people fucking smoke on the train and stuff. I think that's kind of funny. It's such a rare thing that happens, too. And that was that. And then on the, then on the, then on the uh, when I got to Fort Station, it was pretty chill. It was pretty cold outside, you know. And I got the 44, and there was some sort of weird delay there. And we were stuck in the, at the Fort Station for about 5, 10 minutes, which I didn't mind. As long as it was warm inside the bus, I didn't mind, right? See, there, there was a couple arguing in the bus. It was just, I don't know, man. It was like weird energy last night. And just weird people back and forth. And so, yesterday was kind of a weird journey. was kind of a weird night journey on the way home. And, and, and I didn't get home till like around 11.50. I had to eat dinner. I finished eating dinner like around 12.10, 12.15. Came up, came to my room. 
was about to uh, maybe do a vlog, but then I just started watching, um, I forget what I was watching something about like a weird dimension and stuff, and I just fell asleep, and I woke up at 5.30 in the morning with my, with my alarm here. And yeah, that was it. I apologize if, if I couldn't get a video up last night, but sometimes it's tiring, you know? You have to set up the video, I have to edit the video, I have to upload the video, and upload is something I have to take anywhere from between six minutes up to an hour. And I was just, I was just be tired. And then, then I, after working about 5 30, when he's the restroom, came back up to my room. I was thinking about, oh, and now I'll do the video. Passed out again. This time I passed out sitting up and I woke up at 9 a.m. So here we are, almost 10 45. And uh, yeah, but that's how it is sometimes in life, you know. Um, I have to work today at 2 o'clock, going, of course. Three more days, and then I get a couple days off, you know. Um, Hopefully today goes smoothly. I'm the only boss tonight, which kind of makes me a little bit nervous because I have to do a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, paperwork stuff tonight. Tonight, so I'm kind of nervous about that. I have to print out these fucking tags. They're like it's only about I would say maybe about 200 pages, but it's one page at a time. So I got so I gotta sit there and feed it. But that means I have to be on the, off the floor for like about maybe 15, 20, 15 minutes to half an hour, and that's tough. With my group tonight, it can be a little tough because my group is a little bit inexperienced. I have one cashier who's very brand new and she is a little bit on the slower side and language issues so it could she kind of needs a lot of help which I don't mind helping I don't mind that part you know? I don't mind the fact that she has a uh, she's a little bit slower because she's new and I don't mind the fact that you know that she always needs help but what I do mind right is that sometimes she'll try to take initiative and sometimes cause problems Sometimes my friend, it is better just to ask questions or to ask for help rather than try to take some addition and fuck up the stuff. Secondly, the other fella who I work with, right, which is a good guy, great, great on the floor worker, still inexperienced though too. And sometimes that could be that could be that could be an issue too. The other gal I work with is pretty good. She's really experienced. I dig work with her. And I have myself I, I still consider myself inexperienced. I've only been his job, this job here for about let's see. Uh, Almost five months coming up on the 21st will be five months. Yeah. So I'm still pretty, pretty green when it comes to um, this kind of work. Because sometimes, you know, I'm, you know I'm, I'm used to being a supervisor. I was a supervisor for copy and print. But copy and print supervision and this kind of supervision is just two different animals. Way two different animals. Um, this this one is far more task oriented. And what I mean by that is there's shit that's get done for the store. Not necessarily just for the department. It's, it's much easier to get things done for a department than to get for an entire store. Like tonight, for example, we have to pull off every fucking tag in the store tonight in order for tomorrow morning those folks that come in tomorrow morning to put the tags up. Which means A, that's the done, and B, the new tags have to be prepared and printed out. And sometimes that can take a long time. Just that. Thirdly, I also gotta take care of the money, which kind of makes me nervous too, because I'm, I'm not a big fan of taking care of money, but I do, I do what I have to do. I feel much more comfortable if there's another uh, supervisor there in case anything's worth the money, but there's not, so there's that part too. And yeah, other than that, I just think that's another Saturday night. Uh, I don't mind working Saturday nights, to be honest. In fact, I kind of like it because it makes me, it makes me out, it makes me outside and stuff, and sometimes it's kind of cool to see other people coming home or going to nightclub and stuff or coming home from nightclub. It's kind of cool. Um, only, the only funky thing about Saturday night store is that sometimes people act crazy and they want, especially for alcohol and stuff. And sometimes we can have issues with customers wanting to buy alcohol and we don't have it or company kind of drunk or tipsy or whatever. So there's that part. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to my day off. You know, hopefully I can hang out. But if not, I already have my own plans too. You know, if my plans I'm trying to plan out do not do not go through. I have my own plans I'm going to do. Like on, for example, Tuesday. I'm gonna go see. The, I'm gonna go watch The Handmaid again at 2:55 because it's one of those movies I want to see on the big screen again before I get it on Blu-ray. And it was just a really fun, fun movie, and I actually liked it. Really liked it a lot. And I kind of. Uh, I mean, you can see it in my review if you guys watched that. That I uh, enjoyed it quite a bit. But anyways, guys, I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, hopefully, today goes by smoothly. I always tell myself. Please God, let it go back quickly, but not too quick. I don't want to be one of those days where it's going to be fucking 9.30 at night, I haven't got anything done, especially those times. That's part I'm worried about the most. 
But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe. Um, trying to build this channel. I'm trying to make a combination of Funko Pop videos, reviews, and my vlog. Anyway guys, take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.